During pregnancy, it's important to have a long, slow warm up. So we're just going to do some head tilts from one side to the other. That's it. Nice. Hear my neck cricking. Keeping nice and long through the spine. So really lengthen through the spine as well. So you're thinking of drawing a long arc through space. That's it, nice. And head turn. So turning your head left and right. So you don't need to push the range of movement. So you want to stay just back a little off the end range of movement because that relax and really makes everything so much more loose. So keeping back just off the end range with any stretches. But it's nice to mobilize a little bit, get the joints moving. Drop the ear to the shoulder and roll the chin on the chest, ear to shoulder. And roll. And it's nice to stretch out the neck prenatal because the neck can get so tight with the extra weight through the bust. That's it. All right, shoulder rolls. We're going to lift the shoulders, circling around. Nice and big. That's it. Very nice. Keep that lovely sense of length through the spine. From here, we're just going to take the fingertips in. So flexing at the wrist firmly. So stretch out the elbows a little bit more. And then we're going to turn the fingertips out and stretch right back, lifting the chest. Turn the fingertips in. So this is a lovely little neural stretch. And it's great for carpal tunnel, lifting the chest. Now with back extension, at the third trimester, there could be a little bit of abdominal separation, in which case you leave out the extension. So you want to avoid back extension if there is abdominal separation. So if it's a second pregnancy, there probably is a little bit of separation. And in the third trimester, it's quite common to have abdominal separation as well. So you can do both moves. That's it. Nice. And let's do the mermaid stretch. So we're going to lift one arm up and then stretch out, reaching long, coming back and down. Keep going. So with the mermaid stretch, you really want to think of more length. So length and length, so not such a big side bend. It's more about length to the corner, coming up. So you want to think of room for your baby to grow uh, inwards rather than sinking down and crunching into the back. So you want to lift up long out of the way. So grow taller, 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 and then curve. Reach more to the corner than to the side, and then coming up and down. Lift. Open out, fan through the ribs, and coming up and down. Once more each side. So think of long, lengthen. That's it. And it can become quite challenging to stabilize the rib cage with the increase of the hormone relaxant as well. Great, very nice. I'm going to press the palms in towards each other and we'll do a few pec presses. So we're just going to squeeze and release, keeping long through the spine. And squeeze. Very nice. We're going to press and rotate and center. Press twist. Now really grow tall. So you don't want to be sinking down into that rotation. You want to lift. And it doesn't need to be full. So stay just off the end range. So you're not going to that full range. And keep the movement smooth and fluid. So it's more likely to, if like a rapid movement into twisting would cause maybe a tearing of some muscles. So that's why we want to move nice and slow during pregnancy, so no rapid twisting rotational movements. Slow and long through the spine. And last time. Great work.